I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and it's Monday, uh, February 9th. I want to look at Mankind today in this free video. Um, this is a stock that I've been covering for our members for the last week or so. Um, would have been nice to have been covering it from the initial squeeze, but we didn't um, get into it uh, that quickly. But this is a company that, uh, that makes a Frezza, which is an inhalant um, insulin uh, delivery system. So you inhale it like, you know, the stuff that uh, people take for COPD or asthma, uh, stuff like that. And the big hit here was because a lot of folks um, were concerned that even though the company got approval by the FDA um, for a Frezza, that they were going to run out of money before they could do anything, which to me seems kind of silly. Um, but what do I know? Uh, it's really what the stock knows. So they've got a marketing deal with Santa Fe. They're actually starting to market um, the drug delivery system this week, or excuse me, this month. And the question that a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot, but I saw a pretty prominent question being asked among um, analysts, nobody's been asked, there's been no poll taken among folks with diabetes as to whether they would feel comfortable using this in a restaurant. And my suggestion would be that maybe you stop and think about what the alternative is. And I'm being really delicate with my language, which is actually quite rare for me. But if you're a diabetic and you need to get insulin uh, and you're sitting in a restaurant, what would you rather do? Bust out the needle or go and breathe it in? And if you, for whatever reason, don't want to want people to think, see you breathing something in because maybe they think you're inhaling marijuana or something, go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom. What are you going to do? Would you rather have the needle or then would you rather inhale? So the bottom line is, in my view, this is going to be a, a very widely adopted insulin delivery system. And frankly, it's going to change um, that field. It's going to change that industry. And I think that's what traders are starting to see here. And by the way, to you skeptics, yes, I know about the contraindications. Well, guess what? Not everybody gets to use it, okay? If you're a smoker or you've got COPD, a few other things, okay, so what? There's still quite a few people who don't have to deal with those contraindications. So my suggestion is look at the short interest in the stock, look at the trend, look at the weekly chart, and look at when earnings are going to be announced, which is actually... Um, pretty soon. Um, it's like the week after next, uh, something like that. And by the way, this is the um, short interest ratio, but the percent of um, stock or shares that are, sh are short is 30%. So you got quite a few folks um, betting against this um, stock. I think that puts the stock in a position to move higher. How high is it going to be before they announce earnings? I couldn't tell you. And so I'm absolutely and explicitly not saying this is going to pop um, and earnings, there's going to be an upside surprise and the stock's going to scream. Stock may have already screamed before earnings, but what I'm saying is this. I think you can buy this stock. It's in a steep trend right now, but the advantage is definitely to the bulls right now. You buy the stock, and I'll just ask you this. What's the catalyst for the stock to fall between now and earnings? I can't think of any. The only reason for the stock to fall would simply be because of an exhaustion of buying pressure. In other words, the stock's moved so much, and you know, just from this last pullback, it's moved 26%, for crying out loud. From the bottom, stocks um, moved almost 50%. So there's definitely going to be an exhaustion at some point. What I would just suggest is you let the trend be your friend. You follow this stock up. Uh, maybe you can even use like, what's a 10-day moving average look like? Let's use an 
day moving average and even making an exponential. Um, you use this moving average, say, as a reference for stops. As long as the stock's trading above that level, um, I think you're good to go. Okay, members, over to the strategy session.